Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing a full tutorials on Matterboard, the app that helps you create a beautiful, stunning material board online. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Mia and I'm an interior designer based and working full time in London. And on my channel, I share everything related to interior design from uh, tutorials to a vlog around my life as a designer. So if that's interest to you, please stick around and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. So this is the agenda of the tutorials today. I will teach you step by step and everything that Matterboard offers in nine stages, but I will leave a timestamp so feel free to skip or to come back to the chapter that you need. So when you open Matterboard, this is what you see. On the left hand side, this is where you can find objects, accessories and templates. And on the right hand side, this is where you can find and apply different materials and edit them. In the middle, you have the workspace that you can drag your objects and materials to build your board. So for example, you can bring the object by dragging like this and you can apply the material by selecting on the object. Here you can create your own new project and this is where you can save your board when you're done. So now let's start making our board. What I usually like to do when I'm making a material board is to have a concept image. So I'm going to bring the image we'll be working with on the board first. And Matterboard makes this so easy as if you have any image open on the another window, for example, you can just click and drag them into the Matterboard window and it will show up here. If you've already saved your images on your file, you can go to the image here and then select upload image and go and find the image from your file and just open it. So once you have this image, let's study the image a little bit. Um, so when you are building the material board, you want to start from the most biggest surface elements. So this is architectural finishes like flooring, wall and ceiling. Then you move on to the second largest surface like the finishes on the joinery. And then we work towards the furniture, lighting finishes and textile finishes. So to bring the object, it's fairly easy. You just go to the object here. And if you're the first time actually using this, it's really nice to browse the type of object that they have here. Um, but I'm just going to show you an example of, let's say, a timber floor. So you can search an object by typing here. And once you find what you like, you can then drag the object to the workplace like this. And then you can like move around and scale it from here. Um, and to apply the material, you go to the right hand side bar and then you go to filter. You either search the material you're looking for or you can also go to the category and find, um, in this case, timber. To apply the material, you need to select the object first and then click the materials. Um, if you go to properties, this is where you can change and play more with the textures, scales, and this changes depending on which materials you have. So now let's start designing. The easiest way to get your board is to start with the templates that Matterboard already has. There is ones that material has been already applied and there is also a blank version and you can choose from so many different options here. Unfortunately, you need to have a pro for some of these styles, but we can always add our own object to create the layers to our board. So what I'm going to do is that I found this one that I would like from the curated option that I'm going to use as my foundation foundation and going to reapply the materials to suit my design. So I'm going to bring the concept image again to the board as we started in the new workplace. Um, and I'm going to start with my floor materials, which is timber plank floor. 
I'm going for a blend of mid-century modern and a Soho house type of vibe. So I wanted to go with the neutral materials architecturally and then add eclectic feel with the feature materials. So now I'm bringing my wool materials, which will be a wood paneling. Here I'm looking for a slightly dark and warmer oak than my floor. Then I also want to have a nice bronze mesh ceiling as a feature, so I found this mesh object and applied metallic finish, then some marble to represent the worktop materials as well. So I've noticed that there wasn't a specific marble texture I was looking for, and you can apparently create your own materials. You just save your texture to your folder, and then if you go back to the Matterboard, you can go to My Materials, then Create New Material, then you can select the texture you have saved, and then you just follow the category to name your texture. Once you're done, you just click Save Material, then you will see it right here. Then to apply, you need to select the object first and then click your texture and it will create your own material. You can also go to property and change the scale of your texture. So reeded finishes are quite popular in interior design nowadays and I see them a lot in solid or glass finishes and I'm going to use it to my mood as well. Matterboard has quite a lot of options for this from a small to large scale and I'm going to apply a wooden texture to this as well for my island base finishes. Then I'm also adding another marble finish to create a bit more interest to my board. Then now to the fabrics. I love how much different ways you can represent them here. If you search for fabric in the object section, you have a variety of textiles to some accessories. I have personally went with this folded version because I wanted to layer them on top of each other. And just going to rearrange them so the color looks coherent and smooth. So for the final touch, I wanted to bring in some another mood board image that could be added nicely to the board. I thought some greenery was missing, so I selected the image that has some plants in it. Then I'm also going to finalize my proportion on the board, and I thought that my fabric was missing some warmth, so I changed one of them with the lighter texture. So one of my favorite tools that is new to the Matterboard is that you can add your own text and annotation. You just go to the label here and then drag the text and then you can drag around, scale it like the other objects. And then for the annotation bar, you can also drag them to the board and then again, you can scale them as well. And this is honestly a time-saving tool as I think everyone used to do it on InDesign or other presentation app. So this tool is so great to whether annotate your materials or add like keywords to your mood board. You can also add some accessories to elevate your mood board. There are plants, but also some other decorative materials that has already been there. So it's worth checking out. And for the background textures, this is same as other materials. So you can either place like a white paint to create a clean background, or you could have like a concrete or lime wash paint to create some interest. So we're at the end of our tutorial now. Once we are happy, we can download our image from here and you don't really need to change anything. And that's it guys, press that download button and we have our mood board. This was everything for today's tutorial. I really hope that you guys found it helpful. So I'm currently trying to rotate this type of interior design tutorials video with a lifestyle vlog. So please feel free to comment um, or send me a DM to share your feedback or any suggestions that you might have for the future video. As usual, I will leave you with some of my videos that you might also find it helpful here. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. See you soon!